Welcome to Lawn Porn. Get your croquet on. So basically croquet is a race. We're going from one stake through these two wickets and in a diamond shape. Through to that one and through the middle. Through that one. Coming back we've got to go through these two wickets and hit the stake on this side. And then we've got to go through these wickets again. Go to here. Go to the middle. Here, come all the way back and go through these two wickets. When you hit the stake, that's the winner of the game, first person to do that. So starting at the bottom stake, follow the blue line to the top stake and then follow the red line back to the starting stake. If you go out of bounds, that's the end of your turn. On your next turn, you can start a mallet's distance away from where you went out of bounds. Stake here, it's got some colours, and that's the order of the balls. So blue first, red second, black, yellow. Okay, so Andrew's going to start. He's gone through two wickets, so he gets two shots to go to the next one. There's one, and needs to go through the stake. And he gets an extra shot for going for that, so he's got one shot. Whoa! Almost. Matt's going to have a shot off. You can also play it this way. I like to do a lot of the time. Two shots. One. One. Oh, Ooh, got it. Nailed that one. Alright, so if I hit an opponent's ball, I also get a shot. So that's what I'm going to try and do. See how good I am. So I get one more shot. So it gets one shot. So this is where the Aussie Backyard Rules version differs from the classic game. The reason we did this is because we want the game to flow and we just want the kids to have fun. In the classic game, when you hit the ball after the first wicket on the right, an opponent's ball that is, you actually get two shots. After hitting that opponent's ball in the classic game, you've got two choices. You can either have your two shots or move your ball next to your opponent's ball and do what's called a croquet shot. Alright, so Andrew's going to do what's called a croquet. So he still gets the one shot. Knock my ball away. And another reason we play the Aussie version of the game is we don't want the kids doing croquet shots and hitting their feet. So the advantage of the Aussie version of the game just having one shot on an opponent's ball is it's suitable for smaller yards. Um, croquet shots when the balls are kissing don't happen that often so the kids aren't hitting their feet with the mallet. And it just promotes the flow of the game and also, um, how, do, how do I put this, you can still play the strategic aspect of the game using your other opponent's balls to get position. So let's get back to our demonstration game where Andrew got ahead of me, so I had to play catch up. And now he gets one more shot. He's probably going to try and hit my ball. And Wait. he did, and he went through. Hit for one and went through the wicket for one, so I got two. Supposed to hit the stake, but he didn't have enough weight fix. <laughs> he should hit the stump this time. Yay! There you go. So basically, croquet is a race, and uh, go through the diamond pattern, come back, and that's basically it. The first one to hit the stake at the start wins the race.